After being acquired by Lenovo, Moto has been full of surprises in the past two years. The Snapdragon flagship processor was launched several times in a row, continuing the price butcher route, and launched representative models, such as the traditional candy bar Moto X30 Pro, and the folding screen Moto Razr 2022, allowing Moto to regain its popularity in the market. Now, we have got the new X40 launched by Moto, let's take a look at what kind of surprises it will bring. The main interface of the Moto X40 inherits the business gene. It is equipped with a 6.7-inch 165Hz high refresh OLED large screen, which supports intelligent self-adaptation of the frame rate up to 120Hz in multiple scenes. Of course, you can also manually turn on the global 165Hz, which can bring a smoother and handy screen. The resolution is 2400 by 1080 supports 100% DCI-P3, 10-bit color management, HDR10+, 4K HDR10+, video system, can show more natural and vivid colors in use, and meet the needs of high-definition gaming experience and audio-visual entertainment. This screen has also passed the double certification of SGSI protection, supports full DC dimming, and brings a more eye-protecting experience. The overall size of this Moto X40 is 161.16 x 74 by 8.59 mm, including the camera bump, the thickness is 10.8 mm, and the weight is only 197 grams, which feels very good in the hand. The screen uses a microcurved surface appearance, which gives people a more rounded feeling overall, and the four sides transition with an R angle, which makes the hand feel very good. The center ticking appearance is equipped with a 60 megapixel front camera inside. The middle frame of the Moto X40 is made of aviation aluminum, which has been processed by a curvature cutting process to bring a thinner and lighter visual impression, while also taking into account the round and consistent grip and the durability of the phone. On the top of the phone, the Dolby Atmos logo is printed between the noise-canceling microphone and the speaker, and the bottom is the SIM card slot, USB-C interface and other conventional layouts. It also supports IP68 dustproof and waterproof. Users can also use Moto gestures to realize functions including turning on the flashlight, camera, and switching front and rear cameras underwater. You can switch between taking pictures and taking pictures, and you can use your phone normally even underwater. It is very suitable for outdoor activities such as diving and surfing. The Moto X40 rear camera module is a 3-camera solution composed of a 50-megapixel smart original picture main camera, and a 50-megapixel 117 degrees ultra-wide angle macro main camera, and a 12-megapixel portrait lens, and a flash in the lower right corner. The Moto X40 also supports 125-watt flash charging, and comes with a Type-C interface 125-watt gallium nitrite GAN flash charging head. The hardware of Moto X40 is a new generation performance trio consisting of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, LPDDR5X, and UFS 4.0. The most noteworthy thing is naturally the second generation Snapdragon 8, which brings the latest Adreno 740 GPU. Based on Qualcomm's Elite Gaming feature, it introduces hardware level ray tracing, which brings higher and better energy efficiency. It is foreseeable that the second generation the Snapdragon 8 will be the hottest SoC within a year. Compared with the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 of the previous generation of Moto X30 Pro, the second generation Snapdragon 8 has an overall upgrade rate of 70.9% to 114.5% in graphics. The highest scores are Ruin Vulcan in Manhattan 3.1, reaching 114.5% and 113.5%. The performance has been nearly doubled, and the improvement is very significant. The Moto X40 uses a 3 main camera solution consisting of a 50 megapixel smart original painting main camera, and a 50 megapixel 117 degrees ultra wide angle macro main camera, and a 12 megapixel portrait lens. From the overall experience point of view, Moto has polished the product more and more handily. This Moto X40 has shown a high level in terms of performance, video, charging and battery life. The second generation Snapdragon 8, compared with the first generation Snapdragon 8 Plus, this generation of the second generation Snapdragon 8, has a 10.4% increase in CPU single core, and a multi-core upgrade of about 13%. Such a powerful flagship SoC, is no problem facing the more complicated Sumeru City Map Injunction Impact. It can easily achieve a performance of 59.1 FPS close to full frame, the pressure is not high, and the temperature is only 40.8 degrees Celsius. During the 15-minute game period, there was no game frame lock caused by temperature control. It can be said that it tamed Genshin Impact again. The power consumption is lower than the previous generation Snapdragon 8 Plus. The average power consumption of the Moto X40 is 5.2 Watt. Conservatively speaking, it is at least 30% lower than the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1. LPDDR5X and UFS 4.0 upgrades are also very obvious. According to the author's most intuitive feeling, when Genshin Impact enters the scene and switches maps, it is much faster than previous models. The Moto X40 has brought enough surprises in terms of cameras. 
While focusing on cost performance, it has not made concessions in this regard. Especially the 2x high definition portrait telephoto lens, although it only has 12 megapixels, thanks to the well tuned, it achieves a performance that is not inferior to the main camera. This high definition portrait telephoto lens can adapt to a wider range of application scenarios. Even at night, it can shoot at will, and it can directly output very pure proofs, and the light, shadow and color performance are very good. In the high definition portrait mode, users can easily switch between the default focal lengths of 35mm, 50mm, and 85mm with one click. It can also be seen that Moto tries to satisfy everyone's tastes in terms of photo details, so that Xiaobai can also shoot casually. There are also unique details in video shooting. It can automatically activate deactivate the anchor mode of the foreground frame, autofocus tracking without losing the subject when shooting video, and more stable horizon locking. It is very suitable for users who often shoot vlogs. 125 watt charges the 4600 mAh battery to full capacity, and it only takes 23 minutes to provide more than 9 hours of battery life. In other words, the Moto X40 is comparable to the models on the market, equipped with 4700 to 4800 mAh batteries. If the capacity is the same, the Moto X40 will have half an hour more battery life. Judging from product appearance and actual performance, the Moto X40, which focuses on business style, focuses on practicality without compromising on quality. It can be said to be very competitive at the same price. If you need a business style mobile phone that is not too ostentatious, has extremely high requirements for performance and daily experience, and takes photos in multiple scenes, then this Moto X40 is very suitable for you. Do you want to consider getting one? What do you think about the new phone? Write your opinion in the comments below. Thanks for watching, have a nice day and see you soon.